going on everybody jeff lightsy jr here with the black boss channel and victory formation be sure to hit the thumbs up button like share subscribe and the notification bell because we upload every single day now danny ainge is out in boston and brad stevens will take over as the team president and this is call coming out today i'm reading you this article via espn this is the boston celtics announced wednesday that danny ainge is retiring and that coach brad stevens is being promoted to president of basketball operations the celtics will start a search to hire a new head coach to replace Stevens and said Ainge will work with the team on the transition through the off season. That's as Ainge said, uh, he started thinking about the move when he had a mild heart attack in 2019. And he said that the last couple of years have been tough because of the pandemic. Uh, the move comes a day after Boston's disappointing season came to an end in the loss of the Brooklyn Nets in game five of the first round of the playoffs. So, I mean, hey, what a come up for Brad Stevens. I mean, just it feels like just a few minutes ago, he was losing back to back championship games at Butler with Gordon Hayward and losing to Coach K, who is also retiring after this year, which is also some news. We'll do that in a different video. But uh, what, a, what a hell of a come up to go from Butler to the president of the Boston Celtics. Ain't a bad job. It's a it's a clap it up. It's a clap it up, especially when you really haven't succeeded to the level a lot of people felt like Boston should have, right? Like, think about this. Boston had all of those draft picks in the Kevin Garnett trade, the Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce trade to Brooklyn, right? Brooklyn gave away when they had Mikel Prokhorov, who was the new, let me paint this picture. So Boston traded, Danny Ainge did a good thing. He traded for Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen, and they won a championship, went to another finals. He drafted Rajon Rondo. Like, they did some good stuff there, right? So once that era was over, the writing was on the wall, the era was over, he actually finessed the hell out of Brooklyn. He got like a ton of first round picks from Brooklyn, which ended up being because once he traded Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett, they weren't good anymore and he knew it and they were expensive and they were old. And so he traded like Brooklyn traded all their first round picks for the next like five years, right? To Boston. And those picks ended up being Jalen Brown at number three overall. They actually had the number one overall pick and were able to finesse Philly. And they went up and got Markel Fultz. Boston trades back to three. The Lakers take Lonzo Ball at two and they get Jason Tatum. So they get Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum out of that. They were also able to sign Kyrie Irving at one point. They were also able to sign Gordon Hayward at one point. And to show for that, zero finals appearances, two Eastern Conference finals, and that's it. That's it. Like that, that's that's all you get with Boston. And so to a lot of people, especially with that trade, the Brad Stevens as head coach experiment coming out of Butler, he was the genius, he was the mad genius, he was the Sean Mc, how Sean McVay and uh and and Cal Shanahan are to the NFL. That was Brad Stevens eight years ago when he first got hired. It's been eight years already when he first got hired in Boston. You had Isaiah Thomas, you know, he was he was averaging 30 points a game at one point. Uh, for a whole season under Brad Stevens. And the, the the mantra was Brad Stevens does more with less. A guy like Isaiah Thomas, who's always been a pretty good NBA player, became a star under Brad Stevens. But when he has stars like a Kyrie Irving, it doesn't seem to work. That's weird to me. That doesn't sound like a success to me. Because as a, as a head coach in the NBA, you only win with stars. Stars are what win in the NBA. Superstars, to be exact, are what win in the NBA. And so Brad Stevens always did more with less. So I, I say all of that to say this. His transition to the front office as the president of the team, he's going to have to figure out a way to get stars. Because clearly what they got going on in Boston right now, no head coach can fix. Brad Stevens was supposed to be the head coach to fix it. You got Tatum, who's a star. You got Jalen Brown, who's a really, really good player. Both are all stars. You're gonna have somebody gonna have to fix this. You're gonna have to get some complimentary pieces around those two guys, or maybe even a star bigger than both of them, because they have yet to prove that they can win at the highest level in the league. Because Brooklyn's not going nowhere. You know, the team that you finessed all those first round picks, those are early, very, very high number one overall, number three overall first round picks from. Yeah, that team looks like it's gonna be in the championship in the finals. And Boston just had a first-round exit. Yeah, you went head-to-head. -head. That is so crazy how life works, right? Danny Ainge finessed Brooklyn out of all their top first-round picks that end up being Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. And you play Brooklyn in the first round, and they're the team that sends you to retirement.
retirement because I just heard a guy on TV say, now Danny H still wants to run a team. So they're the team, the team that you finessed out of those picks, the team that you're supposed to be light years ahead of, they're the team that sends you into an early retirement. It's interesting. Life, life, life works weird, man. Life hits you fast. And 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 it's it hit Danny Ainge fast, and Brad Stevens gonna have to get it together because the thing about Boston fans is that they expect the best. They do a lot of winning up in the Northeast. I mean, the Bruins have won a ton. They've won championships recently. The Patriots, we know about that dynasty. Uh, the, like they, the Red Sox have won a lot in the last you know decade. They won a lot of championships, so they do a lot of winning in the, the Northeast. So they expect more of the Boston Celtics. They haven't been a legit championship contender since 2009 2010 yeah Danny uh, Danny H couldn't get it done so now Brad Stevens is your turn we'll see how it works once again I'm Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory uh, Formation be sure to hit the thumbs up button like share subscribe and follow us on Instagram at VF Sports Show we post content on there all the time I'll see you guys next time Peace.